All right, all right, all right. How we doing? How's everything sounding? So we're going to get right into it. We're going right back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. For anybody who doesn't know what's going on, we're after the guy who stole our father's sword. Pretty standard trope, I reckon. Which one of these bitches is mine? They said I get a horse. Which one is it? Bernard's Hanish. Only his pebbles, my horse. What the hell are you doing, Henry? I'm trying to figure out which horse is mine. I'm ready. We can go. Good. Then follow me. I saw that you posted some content and you were talking about making the full uh, switch over from Twitch. I'm looking forward to seeing it, man. We'll be a good little bootlicker for now, but that's just because he's giving us a horse. I gotta watch out. I'm still just a peasant. Dude, Pebbles is my horse. I'm so pumped about that. But either way, I guess they found out that, uh, you know, I guess a farmstead nearby was attacked. And one of the people they described was the same dude who beat my ass and robbed me. So uh, my character got all gung ho and was like, let me at him. And I guess their better judgment, they decided, uh, sure, bud. So here we are. We uh, run in to, I assume, do a little bit of investigating and then a little bit of uh, investi killing. Man, it's crazy. I get so I've been getting lots of mixed reviews. Obviously, like I'll uh, I'll decide myself whether or not I'm going to be into it. Uh, but if you're enjoying it, that's a good sign for me, though, because I know that our uh, our interests line up pretty well. Revo, my guy, what's happening, buddy? We're back at her. We're back at it. Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? Oh, damn. The the Not the horsies. Not the horsies. What here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses screaming. Must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband. When my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stable. How's the dialogue, guys? Can you guys I hear it okay? Condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in them. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? <laughs> Nothing. They wanted blood. Is that better? I turned coin. it up a little bit. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing, nothing that could drive a man to this. 
These are dark days. I'm about to do more cop work. Horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? You get up to anything cool today, Reva? What did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow their trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? Atta boy. Catch anything? I mean, chances are good you did, but anything of note? Mount up in quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. Scout the area, Henry. Okie dokie. Alright, so I guess I should think about, think as like an investigator here because obviously it's not giving me any waypoints or anything to go on. What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Hmm. That sounds actually really good. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No, I didn't see a thing. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. All right, so that's sus. I don't know nothing. I don't know anything. Okay, buddy. I'll believe you for now. For now. Question survivor, scout the air. Well, I bet they ran off into the woods. Let's go investigate over there. Okay. I'm sure it helps being in a uh, a more populated town, more active town. Because my town's great for Pokemon Go, to be honest. My Pokemon Go account's pretty decent. I haven't played it much recently, but... Any footprints? Aha! Uh -huh. This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. Oh, ho, ho, looky there. Got a level on hunting. Better be careful in case I get jumped. Oh, we got a little blood. A little blood on the tree. They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Deeper and deeper. Oh. Just made me save the game. So just go back and keep investigating. I also got a horse, so I pretty much got a driver's license for the Middle Ages. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, hey, Jake. It's Jacob. Jacob. Another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it. You useless prick. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Lamborghini Gallop. My skill check failed. So, uh... I just look like a real douchebag right there. There's one man in particular, huge, 
dressed all in black. Doing a little Lord investigative work, Ian. Trying to figure Isn't out who it? attacked this Isn't here stable. You think I've killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Yeah, you did. With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other stars <laughs> smart then. So the raiders this guy's a scrapper, dude. What's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. Can you help me? Help you? And how have you helped me? Farewell. All right. Jacob gave me some details. Ginger straight up gave me nothing. Didn't give me a thing. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. His poor widow. Ask. Okay, I, shit. I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smil. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes, but not this time. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. And so she slept through the whole thing? Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Jacob, the old stable boy. He Jacob. Lindsay was sleeping in the stable. Jake, I'm going to start sleep calling sleep. you Jacob. I don't know of anyone else. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. So we know that when they showed up, don't even know how many of them something went wrong, and that's why they ran. They I didn't mean, take anything. And they seem to mainly only target the horses, except for the owner. Did you get a look at them? One man. And we know that, uh, I think his name was Runt, is what they Did called him whenever he, no. you know, beat my ass and took I my didn't. sword. Goodbye. All right, we got to find Mark. How could anyone be so cruel? Hope that's not Mark. Are you Mark? <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Are you... are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... they deserve it. What... what I love when a dialogue check works. What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... Why did they kill them? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then Smil. He shouted. And they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then Smil? Not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. Now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside and 
it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. Hmm. You said they were demons. No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. They quarrelled. Uh, where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye. Oh, for a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. I like how they told me to stay out of the way and I pretty much like figured out where they were while they're all just like standing around. Okay. Explore the clearing in the woods. I'm for sure about to run up on somebody. Oh, I hear him. He's hurting me. He's... You're dead. Suck it. I'm fucking dying here. Nobody can match me with iron in their hands, and uh, some damn peasant kills me. <laughs> Dagger covered in horse shit. Oh, okay. Whose hoof pick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Ooh. Why do you ask? I found it on one of the bandits in the woods. But he. Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. Ask Yakub. On to Yakub. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, uh, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah. It's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Where could he have fled to? Uh, uh, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him... Listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. No, I don't know. Aye. Is that Except a thing? These ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate. 
You'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. Well, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Good luck to you. Alrighty. Better talk to old Bernard. My respects to you. That's the nicest thing he's ever said to me. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? The hoof pick I found on the dead bandit in the woods is his. That is fucking suspicious. <laughs> that is fucking suspicious. <laughs> Suspiciously when I <laughs> what do you mean? Well, he was squirming and didn't really say anything. He might just have been in shock. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding here, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for him. Go, before the trail turns cold. I'll send a report to Rattler. Very well, sir. Oh. No doubt there are humans. Guess I'll scout it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh. No. Holy shit. Can't use items in combat. I'm fucked. I'm about to die. Unless there's a chance that I could maybe. I doubt it though. Oh, you fuzzball. Holy shit, boys. Actually, I wonder if I can get a proper bath. Do 
Jesus Christ be praised. I'd like to uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? <laughs> to pay for a winch and everything that goes with that. Proper bath. And my clothes need washing. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Well, no, do I? How much is it? <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. May the Lord... Now I think the maps aren't the best, but basically it just told me it's like really old school, some old school vibes because it was like, well, the suspect is probably with the charcoal burners, which is a whole ass profession in this time period, I guess. Um, said, well, they have to be along water and it was probably south somewhere. So maybe you just go to the river and follow it south. Okay. Then I will do just, I will do just that, friendo. Yeah. Game's really pretty though. It was made in 2018, I think. What actually goes into making charcoal? You just burn wood, right? I'm sure there's more to it than that. to you I'm looking for a stable boy from Neuhof then why aren't you looking for him at the stud farm because he fled from there and supposedly went to see some charcoal burners he didn't come here you'll have to try elsewhere take care now okay because I just want to ask questions talk to me and leave the others in peace oh okay Jesus Christ be praised could you help me Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined... Hey, what's up, Sumi? How you doing, buddy? Sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try What are you up else. to? Hmm. This is where it would be like a good idea to take the... Uh, the lowborn... Like, I can choose, like, as a speech perk to have plus three with either people who are lowborn or plus three with people who are highborn, so, like, nobles and stuff. And I feel like chances are good you're probably going to be talking to more, like, lowborn people, wouldn't you? But then again, like, what if, like, down the road, like, it comes down to, like, a speech check or whether I get decapitated or something by, like, a noble? A murder has been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late, but that ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice, so how about helping me out? Calm down, lad, for the love of God. There's been no one like the boy you want round here, but then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. Right? You might want to they are definitely have more power, and it would probably be really good to have more sway over them, but... Exactly and obviously it's the beginning of the game, and I'm just uh, now in service to a noble. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for. No. But I haven't really but talked to many. didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well... You'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots Ujets. around there. So that they got names sweet. hilarious. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. All right. I'll go and ask somewhere else. Farewell. Thanks, Bowie. Appreciate you. Off I go. Huh. Who's there? Oh, whoa. Yeah, some. Are these guys might have had to fight? Hey, buddy. What's what's chilling? Oh, these are bandits. Oh, 
I'll be damned if I let you get the drop on me. Boy, what's up? This won't take long. Jesus Christ. That's right. Oh. He... oh, is he not dead? Oh, he's dead. And there was one other fella. Wait, did he get away? You're literally not getting away from me. Okay, he might be getting away from me. Hey, get out of here. No place for the likes of you. Oh, I got his foot. He's injured. Right in his arm. I don't know about you guys, but we're warriors of justice in here. Get you just out of here. Oh, you're a poacher? Let's talk. Be off, I say. Be Do 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 Head back the way we came. Hello, charcoal burners. There he is. A good day to you. What do you need? I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhoff. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, he'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. I really must speak with him. A murder was committed at the stud farm, and that boy probably knows who did it. I have to get him to talk. And you think he had a hand in it? Hard to say. He ran away, but on the other hand, it seems he stabbed one of the attackers. Well, when you put it like that, it's clearly urgent business. I do know him. Uh, not personally, but I've seen him around. He's friends with the charcoal burners down by Talmberg. I know he hangs around with the twins there. Downstream by Talmberg? Somewhere by the castle? If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, one more thing. Yes? Some other men have been around asking about him, but they weren't as uh, convincing Ooh. as you. Good. Oh, there is. Some people are. I don't know who's who.
shit. In no mood for talk. You're dead. You're dead. You think you're gonna get away, buddy? Oh, he fell over. He's bleeding. That was kind of silly looking. What, you want some? I hear you. Where are you at? Maybe. Oh, shit. I like how my vision is impaired because of the helmet I'm wearing. Ask for right, suck it. I'm think I might be a little bit good at this. Yeah, we'll mercy kill him. Let it be known that I was merciful. All right, maybe I can make it to the next town before nighttime. Jesus Christ be praised. Where are you hiding, Ginger? How did you... What the hell are you talking about? Don't try that one on me. I know he's friends with a pair of twins from here. I'm here on the orders of Sir Hanush, and I need to talk to Ginger about the raid on the stud farm. If Sir Hanush sent you, then you should deal with those two cutthroats who've been creeping around here asking about the poor boy. Once you take care of them, we won't have to hide him anymore. I think maybe I have dealt with them, but... Alright, I'll deal with them. And then you'll tell me where you've got Ginger hidden, right? Right. You get rid of them, and I'll tell you. So where can I find these bandits? I'm not sure exactly. There's lots of places to hide around here. But they came and went over the bridge, so I reckon they must be somewhere between here and our neighbours. That's a lot of woods to comb through. Not all that much. There's a path around there somewhere leading to an abandoned camp. Good luck. Oh. Fucking stinking gibbet. I'll fucking show you. Oh, you want to fucking go? Bring it on. Oh, there's a bunch of them. You 
get. Not very smart of them. They were wearing literally pajamas. Where are you? I hear you. It's the same place. Blacking out. Got me, leave me be. Ah. Yeah. God be with you. But I didn't deal with the bandit. Damn it.
Oh yeah, we got the setup. I'm being currently chased by bandits. They seem to be pretty well geared. Yeah, we've upgraded a little bit. Uh, went ahead and got my uh, driver license, my driver's license. And we got a bow. Let's see what we can make do with it. Not a whole lot. Been dismounted. So what you're made of. <laughs> Is that the best? Come here, little bit. You'll get one for. What is this? Uh, the targeting is so bad. That's one dead. Come at me, bro. On guard. Oh, fuck you. Come on. No, why would you put your sword away? Either way, mission accomplished, boys. We did it. 
I do make a lot of noise though. Oh, they are asleep. The fools. Hey. Well, well. all right, so now. We're gonna wait till daytime. All right. Oh, do you, you know Forest something? Face. You know something about Ginger? I might have heard something, and if you share a bit of silver with me, I might share what I know. Depends. What do you want in return? A bit of silver never hurt anybody. That story about 30 pieces of silver didn't have a happy ending. Well, then it will have to be more than 30. Try convincing. Are we agreed? You won't convince me with that. Not bad, not bad. Listen up. Ginger has two mates, twins, who are keeping him hidden and taking care of him. I knew this already. Uh, every day to bring him something to eat. Where do they take the food? <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't follow them. Why would I? That's all you have? That's what I paid so much silver for? If you'd already known that much, you wouldn't be here talking to me. So I reckon you got your money's worth. God be with you. You're lucky you're an NPC that's goodly aligned. Good health to you. You don't have to worry about those bandits anymore. I've dealt with them. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right. A bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Uzix until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. Good luck to you. Yep, not who you thought it would be. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? Be because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognized? Who was it? Talk! I... Don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushitz and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushitz, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Oh, might have to go to Ushitz. Might get to finally learn how to read. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? 
I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits, and he has a limp. He limps, and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Do I want to hear it all? Yeah, see what Ginger's story is. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light. It wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started and flames everywhere. That was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. And I, I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? then? Then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. Um, that's not terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yell, maybe they. <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still, there was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait. What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Maybe, I feel like if I sit, just, yeah, just go there and see what happens. And then I'll just show up to the stud farm later and he's like strung from the rafters or something. I'll go talk. Them, I'll go talk to him for Would you, buddy. You? Don't worry. You'll definitely have the respect the way you took care of those cutthroats. Dude, let's go talk to the pilgrim. How do you do, pilgrim? God will reward you. Please, sir. Please, sir. Help me. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet are fade to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir, so I can swathe my feet at least? Wouldn't you rather have shoes? What do you mean, sir? Just what I said. I'll give you a pair of shoes. I'm going to give him the shoes off my own feet. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I seldom meet such a good Samaritan. God shall repay you. Anytime. Take care now. No, I think we just sent through the one time.
I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognized him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. Why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now we're supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sir Hamish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. I definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. Good luck then. We got him a home, though begrudgingly. And what are you doing here, Sir Razig? Greetings. What do you need? My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Um... I feel like maybe this is just like a dialogue option to like let me recap, I guess, so that I know what's going on. If it gets too long winded, I'll just start like skipping. One of the Neuhoff stable boys, a, a lad they call Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Oh, yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognized one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarreled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment of Marhoyed to oversee the security of the region. I love the names, Marhoyed. Farewell. Oh, I failed an objective because I didn't tell Bernard about it. I went straight to Ma. He's probably going to be mad at me. I have some uh, trophies. Let's see. Uh, good. <laughs> I knew you could. It's a lot of money. Hell yeah. Got 140 gold for some ears. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how um. you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. All right, then. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. <laughs> that's dark, man. <laughs> yeah, sure, that sounds like fun. Amusing? Well, as for amusement, I'd entertain myself by being very careful, lad. Take care now. Okay. How much... 
is a new horse. I would, I love pebbles, but. I'd like to buy a horse. I'm glad to hear it. We're badly in need of selling some. Have you looked them over? No. Not yet. Then go and have a look in the stables, so you know what you're buying. Good luck then. Well, let's just see how much they are. I don't... I'm glad to hear. Have you looked them over? I have. Fine animals. The best there are. Is there one in particular you fancy? Oh, there's tears. Let's just see a how much. Wonderful to... Arab stallion, heavenly. When you look into those eyes of his, you'd swear he was human. Okay, two, yeah, twenty six hundred. Maybe some other. Hmm. I'll have to think it over. That's a shield boy. Hey, hey don't bother me. Don't, don't worry about me here, Bucko. Oh, okay. Not really sure how that worked. Right in his face. It's a good start. Got one cleared out. That was bad. Are you coming? Hey, all of you, gather here, raise your alarm. That's the one guy. Over here. Oh. Make it across there, Buckarooney. Bring it up. Oh shit. Kurva fix. I'm Hey, thanks, Uwe. Go ahead and gather your strength. It was good seeing you. Sorry, I'm, uh... Get him! Oh, I'm bleeding bad, boys. Uh. 
on again. No, I'm going to bleed out. Well, there's no way. What are you doing, you murderer? What the hell are you talking about? What are you doing here? Nearby a corpse. Nearby a murder. I'm looking for humans and killing them. You? Very likely. I saw you looting the body. I was looking for signs of life to see if I could help. Aha. Uh -huh. And could you? Unfortunately, it was too late. I've got a funny feeling about you, but I can't be absolutely sure you did it. That's a relief. And what were you doing here exactly? What do you mean by that? I could drag you off to Ratheim myself and let the bailiff decide. How dare you, you bastard! It'll be easier if you just confess. All right then. I did it. I didn't want to kill him. I just couldn't help myself. He walks around like a lord with his purse full, and I've got nothing to eat. You don't really have to tell anyone, do you? And... And you won't regret it. I've been muted this whole time. Whoops. I straight up was trying to loot that corpse, though. Mm, do I extort money or do I look the other way? I won't take coin to cover up a murder. You're right. I'm way too pious for that. Go away as far away as possible. Oh, am I supposed to kill her? Thought that was a hit. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Dude, this lady could take some arrows. <sighs> I kind of feel bad. Okay. Yeah. How are you with? How about a small wager, my good man? That depends. Hmm. A wager over what? It's simple. I tell you a riddle. If you solve it, you get back twice. All right, guys. Riddle time. If you don't, I get to keep your coin. That sounds good. Let's do it. Now, listen carefully. In the feast hall on the table are ten candles. Suddenly, a gust of wind throws open the window and blows out two candles. A little later, another candle goes out. The servant, therefore, 
closes the hall window, now the wind cannot blow out any more. So how many candles can the servant find to relight the following morning in the hall? It'd be 10, right? Because they'd all go out overnight, even though the candles, like, even though the window wasn't open? No, no, oh. fellow. The correct answer is three. Oh, because they burn oh, down. Out three, seven burn down completely overnight. So the next day, only three can be rekindled. I've done you three. He got me. Very few people can figure out my. He got me. <laughs> oh, I thank you, and may we meet again sometime. I hope we don't. Not if I see you first. That's not too bad. Relatively uneventful journey. Alehouse maid. Hello, innkeeper. Tell me, where is your potion My cellar? You. I require your strongest potions. Can I sleep here? I suppose I could find something. For how long? How about if I pay you for several nights? All right. The money up front, though. There you go. You all like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Dude, yeah, this music is hitting, bro. My nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. <sighs> it's the year 1300. <laughs> The music is slapping. You just got a bed at the inn. There are many maidens in town, and the ale is pouring frivolously. This weekend about to be lit. Where do I go to sleep? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a I love that meme. Off. By the way, I think it's fucking hilarious. Trunk for your belongings. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. Ooh, suspicion. Around here, you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> Ooh. When the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> oh, and another thing. Just last night, Father Godwin was here, calling fire and brimstone down an old Gertrude, the herb woman. He's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. Aha, uh -huh. subscribe. God be with you. Subscribe to my channel. Teach me to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groshing from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Here are your groshing. Small price to pay time. for uh, knowledge. Oh, he did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. <laughs> I wonder how hard it would be to learn to read in adulthood. I mean, we were fortunate enough to like learn when we were kids, where we were like super spongy brains. We could just like consume all that information. Let's see you read a bit. Oh. On the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to. I don't know, dude. Can't relate. I still can't. Come back once you've worked your way through. Okay. One day, a countryman going to the nest of his goose found there an egg all yellow and glittering. When he took it up, it was heavy as lead and was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had been played upon him. But he took 
it home on second thoughts and soon found to his delight that this was an egg of pure gold. Every morning the same thing occurred and he soon became rich by selling his eggs. As he grew rich, he grew greedy and thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he killed it and opened it to find nothing. Dark. Classic tale though. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, but I can I read. Can. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. I was apparently not smart Latin, enough. I need to learn Latin. There's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. Yep. I don't know those words. It is. This is like Latin, but jumbled up. <laughs> Read the page. So tell me, this Dupule, what's written there? Yo, what? Um, probably that, right? That looks. No, that's probably it. Nullus est liber tamalis, at non aliqua parte prosit. Nullus est liber tam malus. Non aliqua parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. There's nothing more There's I can teach you. Else. You can read the words. Congratulations. I don't know what those words mean, though. Ordained, right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. But yeah, unfortunately, I think that's where I'm probably going to end up having to in the stream i really appreciate you guys coming out and i had a lot of fun this evening it was a little slow there for a second because i couldn't find the bandits but no we'll keep at it and keep moving forward night guys and again appreciate you tuning in and i will see you all soon much love